in this video we'll be discussing about uh, recognition of tokens topic so before uh, understanding how the tokens are recognized we should know that a lexical analyzer uh, takes input that is the source program reads the character uh, reads character by character and generates the tokens as output so these tokens could be anything like it could be any valid it could be identifier or it could be a keyword or it could be a operator it could be numbers it could be any delimiter and so on so these tokens are recognized by using the transition diagram so transition diagram is you are uh, pictorially representing like the transition like moving from one state to another state by some this is like pictorial representation from one state to another state by some input symbol so that is what transition diagram is so let's consider uh, all the possible tokens and see how they are recognized so let's firstly take recognition of so let's firstly take recognition of an identifier so we know that uh, identifier could be any name given to any variable or a function by the user so this identifier should abide the rules uh, depending on the language you know like in which language you are writing uh, that particular program it has to abide the rules for example in c language so the identifier should start from should start with alphabets only followed by it could comprise of numbers and special character that is underscore in case of pascal it should comprise only of alphabets or digits so let us consider pascal language now so letters could be a to z or it could be a to capital z whereas in digits it could be 0 to 9 so in order to write a, a regular expression which would acts which would recognize the identifier so i can write regular expression is equal to it should initially comprise of letters because that is what the condition says right initially there has to be a letter followed by letters or digits start there could be letters or digits or either it could be there or nothing can be here that's what a star a string to the power star represents so drawing a transition diagram for this we can take start symbol as 0 then over one letter that identifier is valid after that it could either comprise of either it could comprise any other letter or it could just be one letter itself so here i can write letters or digits so this is a valid token so coming to recognition of delimiter so what is a delimiter delimiter could be the blank spaces or the tab space or the new line space and so on so let us consider a word space defined as the delimiter meter so there has to be at least one delimiter for this token to be valid followed by that there could be limiters there could be many delimiters or nothing so a transition diagram for this would be start from the zero state there has to be one delimiter so let me write it here followed by that there are uh, either 
it could be nothing or that there could be n number of delimiters so that's what a star here represents that there could be zero or many occurrences so that is this is a valid token in case of a delimiter and then coming to recognition of keywords keywords we know that keywords are already specified or they hold a particular meaning they hold a fixed meaning in the programming languages so let's consider uh, tokens if while and for so to write transition diagram for this i'll start from zero being the start state i'll go to i 1 over f i would read reach the final state for if in case of while it would be w h i l and e so here 3 4 5 6 and 7 so in case of for so it would be 8 9 and 10 so here uh, only these symbols should be there if i and f if there is any other symbol coming here then um, that particular token is not valid any other symbol occurring then it is not valid so this was about recognition of keywords now coming to recognition of now coming to recognition of i'll write it here so let me consider recognition of relational operators relational operators could be um, greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to or it could be equals or not equals and so on so drawing uh, like writing a transition diagram for this it has to start from zero over um, less than over less than uh, either it can reach the final state so if i have equals to here then it can reach the final state if there is any other symbol other symbol can also include epsilon here so if there is no other symbol also it can reach here so in this case this, this would be relational operator of here what am i doing greater than and equal to sign right and here relational operator of greater than only so if i have um, let me say this is less than right if i have greater than symbol over 4 here again there are two possibilities there could be other symbols or equal to if there is equal to i can reach the final state 5 if not i can reach the final state 6 here it would be relational operator greater than equal to and here relational operator greater here it's lesser than lesser than next i have one more option that is equals equals if i have equals here i would reach the seventh state now further there are two options either there could be any other symbols including epsilon or there could be equals only in this case here i would be relational operator equals equals or if there is any other symbol i can write relational operator equals only one equals so next i can write if there is one not equal to here i will write 10 and here there are two options if there is equal to here and if there is any other symbol so here I can write relational operator um, not equals and relational operator 
N E Q here here N E. So this is how uh, recognition of relational operators is done. Now let's look into recognition of numbers. So let me write it here. So recognition of numbers. Here there could be many variations. That is the number can be uh, either an integer or a floating value or it could also comprise of exponential value. So let me write a number here that is 253.115.22 and then I, I'll write an exponential value that is 100e50 or I can also write 100e minus 50 or I can write 100e plus 50. 100 exponential this is um, 100e exponential plus 50 or minus 50 so here the number um, like every everything can be considered as digits right all these are digits right so we can write we can define it as so it should comprise of digits so let me take digits here so digits can be either one digit followed by that um, there could be no other digits d i g i t s d i g i t star star represents that there could be a digit or there could be zero occurrences of that digit so let me take digits here so number can comprise of digits yes followed by that um, it could comprise of digits any number of digits then there's a dot here so there could be a dot followed by again any number of digits yes and then I have a question mark here question mark is called as the meta character so it will specify if there is either uh, if there's if it's either occurring or not that is either zero occurrence or one occurrence so entire thing uh, occurs zero time then it means that it does not exist if it occurs once it is valid so that's what it refers to so i'm i'm done i i have written this to satisfy this this to satisfy these two and again there is occurrence of digits here yes digits have written Followed by that I have exponential here so I'll write e and then there could be plus or minus right so plus minus the two operators and there could be a question mark they might exist or may not exist because here there's no uh, sign being allotted here directly the digits are given here so here I'll write digits again and I'll put this in a question mark because these may exist or may not exist that's what here if you refer to the first example all these are not there here but then when you come to this example uh, these should be included so that's how you can define a number so if I draw a transition diagram for this particular definition I can start with 0 being the start symbol over digits I can get either uh, the final state I can obtain it or one digit or n number of digits so next I have a dot symbol so over a dot I'll, I should reach the other state then I have I, there has to be one digit followed by n number of digits that is parenthesis digit then I have e here so over e uh, there are possibilities to have plus or minus symbols then I reach the fifth state here there has to be one digit and then n, um, there has to be one digit and then there could be digits or may not be digits uh, digits could be there or not digit and then if there's any other symbol uh, meanwhile then it has to reach the final state so here also if there's any other symbol after this after after uh, these digits then we can reach the final state here other symbols can include epsilon also 
I have explained this in the previous video, uh, like uh, in the previous topic, right? Here I have explained it could comprise of it could comprise of epsilon also. So yeah, it could it could be seven here, so it could reach the final state eight. In case we don't have the exponential value and directly we have, in case we don't have the fraction uh, floating point value and if I have exponential value directly, then we can write from 1 to 4 over e. You can write this. So this is how recognition of numbers is done. So I hope uh, recognition of tokens topic is clear. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and if you require the notes, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.